Welcome into this Charleston County Citizen Service Spotlight, and today we are talking about property taxes, everyone's favorite subject, and we're joined by Peter Tecklenburg, Charleston County Auditor, and payments were due for property taxes on January 17th. If somebody has missed that date, what do they need to know? If, if they did not send payment postmarked by the 17th of January, um, they are already late, and there's a 3% penalty. Mm -hmm. um, there will be another penalty in February, and so the best thing they, that they can do right now uh, before that penalty goes up another 7% to a total of 10% is to uh, come into one of our offices or pay online um, and uh, avoid any other future penalties. There's one in, in March as well, um, but hopefully everyone, if they did miss that first deadline, uh, which was the 17th, of January uh, that they uh, can make payment before the, the bigger penalties uh, occur. And there are a couple of different uh, options for payment, as you mentioned online, charlestoncounty.org, or they can do it in person at a few different locations. Yeah, we have four, uh, four offices where people can come in person and ha if they have questions about their bill, we can answer them, but they can also pay uh, the treasurer, uh, an office downtown at Meeting and Broad, uh, which is 101 Meeting Street. We have an office in North Charleston, uh, which is right off Leeds Avenue at the Lonnie Hamilton uh, County Office Building. Mm -hmm. uh, an office in Mount Pleasant, which is right off of the Isle of Palms Connector, uh, where the DMV is in Mount Pleasant. And then also uh, an office in Ravenel, which is uh, where Ravenel Town Hall is. It's a county uh, service station um, right off of Highway 17. Okay, and uh, the Treasurer's Office is going to be very busy taking payments, but you yeah. guys are also going to be very busy if people have questions. Um, anything in particular you tend to get from people in regards to their property tax bill? We get um, a lot of folks who um, who come in at the last minute telling us that maybe an address has changed mm -hmm. or that they have sold the property um, and uh, or that they just purchased the property. And oftentimes um, it's just a matter of uh, the tax system catching up. We, we tax in arrears which means the taxes that people are paying right now or just paid uh, was for uh, 2016, even though mm -hmm. we're in 2017. And so oftentimes if you moved after January 1st of 2016, uh, the, you may have a, a difference in your bill. So we have a lot of questions about ownership and, and stuff like that um, and who actually s is supposed to pay the bills based on um, sales of property. Okay, and finally, there's a difference between the property tax bills, which are, which are due, um, every January and those motor vehicle bills as well, correct? Right. We send out um, bills on um, on vehicles um, every month, um, mm -hmm. and it's, it's pretty distributed uh, throughout the 12 months. Uh, we send out the tax bill on real property and on personal property, which is boats and, and airplanes, uh, in October, and those are all due in January. And so um, you may get two bills from me um, in different parts of the year. But uh, the one we just passed was was for mostly for real property, homes and, and land. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, contact number for the office in case people do have questions. Sure. 843-958-4200 is our main number. Okay. And they're going to be pretty busy, so uh, please be patient, and uh, they'll, they'll get you as quickly as possible. Do our best. All right. Thanks, Thanks you for the time. Yeah.